Hi there! Today I want to take a look at the nymph books and movies. The first book was called Miss Frisbee and the Rats of Nymph and was written in 1971 by Robert O'Brien. It is the story of a mouse named Miss Frisbee who enlists the help of intelligent rats. The rats help Miss Frisbee move her house to a safer place in order to protect her children. The rats are intelligent because they escaped from a lab called Nymph, where they were experimented on. It is an excellent book and I highly recommend it. A movie called The Secret of Nymph was made in 1982. It is heavily based on the original book, but there were a few changes. They added a magic amulet and an assassination plot that were not in the original book. These additions do not seem to detract from the overall quality of the movie. The movie also does not go into detail about the Thorn Valley plan, something the book takes quite some time to describe. The Thorn Valley plan is this. The rats are no longer comfortable taking everything they need from humans, so they plan to build their own self-sustaining society in a clearing called Thorn Valley. The animation and storytelling in this film are very well done, and I would also recommend seeing this movie. The second book was called Rasco and the Rats of Nymph, and was written in 1986 by Jane Conley, who is the daughter of the first book's author. In this story, Miss Frisbee's son Timothy travels to Thorn Valley to get an education from the Rats of Nymph. Timothy meets a rat named Rasco, who is also going to Thorn Valley for education. Meanwhile, some humans are building a dam, which directly threatens Thorn Valley's safety. The rats realize this and must find a way to stop the dam from being completed. This book is a fairly good read. The second movie, called The Secret of Nymph 2, Timmy to the Rescue, was made in 1998. As in the book, Timothy goes to Thorn Valley for education, but from there the plot is completely different. Rasco does not exist in this story, and there is a vague prophecy that Timmy will save Thorn Valley. The plot just keeps getting stranger and stranger and more and more different from the books. There is also a very noticeable drop in the animation quality. I would not recommend this movie especially if you are a fan of the books. There is also a third book called R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nymph. It was written in 1990 by Jane Conley. This book is the story of two young children who end up finding the rat's colony of Thorn Valley. I haven't read this book myself yet, so I can't say if it's good or not. But if you are a fan of the first two books, perhaps you would enjoy this book too. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this discussion. And as always, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Bye!